<laughs> this is Jess's like fifth <laughs> fifth time trying to come up. Jessica and I decided to <clears throat> come hiking in the middle of winter. I don't know who told us to come hiking. We had to stop and get some Starbucks. Jess is crazy. She got a cold drink. <laughs> but we came out here and we're just like not <laughs> just <slip. laughs> we're just slipping and sliding. So we just told us to be careful because we ate. We're in the proper um, <laughs> the proper hiking gear. Why did we do this to ourselves? We're actually crazy. Okay. Jessica! <laughs> we've only been on this trail for like 10 minutes and we've already almost dropped like 15 times. But almost is the keyword. We haven't actually fallen yet. Yes, we haven't actually fallen yet, thank God. I got a stick because so I don't fall. <laughs> Hopefully it saves my life today. But <laughs> On Instagram I asked my followers what they wanted to know about me so I got some questions and I'm gonna answer some of them right now for you before you continue watching the video make sure that you like and subscribe hit that bell notification so you can stay tuned every time I post this video so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up <laughs> and yeah let's get into the video this is my hiking stick by the way you know. Because we're clumsy out here. Okay, so Jess is going to be asking me the questions and I'm going to be answering. What is your favorite place you've traveled to? My favorite place I've traveled to would be... Oh, I think it would be Peru. And I say that because when I went to Peru, I went with a group of friends. So that was great. Traveling with your friends was awesome. And we also got to teach English there. And for those of you that don't know, I'm in school to be a teacher. So that was really cool, getting to teach English to people who have English as a second language. And it was also really cool because, <laughs> because we, like, we went sampling in like this place called Kuka China, which is like, I guess like the desert or whatever in Peru, which is cool. And we also went um, doom buggying. Maybe I'll include a video of it somewhere on the screen. <laughs> okay, question number two. What is the last show that you've binged watched? Um, the last shows I've binged watched. I watch a lot of TV, so. Facts. <laughs> Jess is giving me a face the background because she knows I literally watch so much TV. But the last show I binge watched was. I rewatched One Tree Hill for the 11th million time. Yeah, for like the 10 millionth, 11th, as just said, time. Because that's my favorite show and I just love it so much. And yeah, <gasps> that, was, <laughs> that was the last show I binge watched. It has nine seasons, 187 episodes, and I watched them all. <laughs> the fact that you know that. Okay, yeah. anyways, next question. <laughs> what is your favorite book? Um, my favorite book is called Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. I think is how you pronounce her last name. Um, it's my favorite book because it's like, it's a book about um, two characters who have like a lot of trials and tribulations um, throughout their relationship. But like they make it in the end. Um, it's book number one out of I think four or three. Um, but it's a really, really good book. And um, the two characters are like really different. <laughs> Okay. The way my life. Okay. <laughs> Whew, we're good. It's about um, the two characters are like really different, but like somehow like find like a common interest with each other, and I just love it. One. What are you looking forward to most this year? I can't. <laughs> 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 oh shit! No. Okay, so it's 2021. Okay. What are you looking forward to most this year? <laughs> <laughs> Not just sliding down the hill. 
<laughs> Lily came all the way down the hill right to me. <laughs> um, what am I looking forward to most this year? Well, <laughs> I'm looking forward to most um, graduating from Teachers College. Yay. Um, and I also just got accepted into a master's program, a master's of education program at my school. <clears throat> and I didn't even apply to it, which is pretty cool. So they just accepted me and sent me an exception letter based on my grade, do that. And hopefully I can fast track it and finish it in one year instead of two. Um, I'm looking forward to COVID finishing. Not finishing, but just so that we can travel and then just traveling. And being able to see my friends and family more often. Yeah. Okay, next. Guys, before, <laughs> before just ask the next question, just completely just did a whole wipe out and fell on her butt. We okay though. <laughs> okay anyways next question before we're done laughing at me what makes your soul happy oh that's a deep question what makes my soul happy mm, i would say my family and friends um traveling definitely up there making youtube videos is fun i'm doing a piece on but can't see um Watching TV makes me so happy. <laughs> um, but definitely top three would be family, friends, and traveling. Makes my soul happy. This is a heavy Take word. five. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? No. Because <laughs> boys are lame. And I'm single, ready to mingle, and fingle. <laughs> making up words as we no, go. No, keep making up words. No. No boyfriend. Boys are trouble. Boys are trouble. What is your favorite feature? My favorite feature is my smile. But you know, she got the booty too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, have you ever been in love? Have I ever been in love? No, because boys. <laughs> just kidding um yes i have been in love and he broke my heart jk but yeah yes the answer is yes to your question young soul who asked me <laughs> <laughs> okay if you could change one thing about yourself what would it be um if i could change one thing about myself what would it be um um I would change how defensive I get. I can get pretty defensive. Like, I take things very <clears throat> personally when people tell me things. So I think I would change being super defensive and taking things personally and just knowing, like, you know, sometimes it's not worth it. It's not worth it to talk about it. It's not worth it to argue about it. You just got to let it be and let it go. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where do you want to travel to next? <laughs> um... There's a couple places I want to travel to next. My top two would be Greece. I'm gonna do that in 2021, hopefully, fingers crossed. And Bali. I really want to go to Bali. 2021, hopefully, too. Fingers crossed. We'll see. But yeah, those are my next two destinations. But where I really, really, really want to travel to is like Bora Bora and Aruba. But like, I'm gonna save those for my honeymoon, you know. <laughs> If I ever get married, but it's okay. <laughs> Who is your inspiration? Who is my inspiration? My inspiration is my mom. Lisa, I'm not gonna say her last name, can't you know put her whole government out there. <laughs> but my mom is my inspiration. She is the greatest woman ever. She does everything possible for her children even if it means that she can't have something for herself she's always given us the best life and just i don't know she just makes me want to be a better person she's the mom i inspire to be she's always there for us um she's the type of mom that like you can go on vacation with and have a blast she's just cool she's a cool mom she's my favorite i love her how many tattoos do you have yeah. Um, oh, Tisha being a ninja. <laughs> you know. Phew. Um, I have five tattoos. 
I have Arabic writing saying sisters here. I have a tattoo on my ankle here for my nephew that passed away. I have Ohana with the flower here. I have a map here and I have a butterfly here. <laughs> How do you feel about winter hiking? Well, it's cute, but very dangerous. You need to make sure you have the proper necessities, like the proper shoes and the proper everything because then you'll drop on your ass like Jess. <laughs> or like the teacher. <laughs> yeah, don't wear Air Forces hiking in the winter. You live and you learn. <laughs> what is the first thing you notice about a guy? Um, the first thing I notice about a guy is his smile and his eyes. Smile and eyes are the first two things I notice about the guy when I look at them. Because, yeah. They could be, like, I don't even care about height, if I'm being honest. Like, <laughs> most of the guys I talk to aren't that much taller than me. So, yeah. We're not shallow out here. <laughs> not saying that people who think of height are shallow. They just might be tall. Or whatever. But I'm short. AKA me. <laughs> a tall girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm what? 5'3 and just 5'9? Five 5'9. Nine? Five nine. So, she needs someone tall. I need someone average. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at, you know, she's a real one. Look at her butt. We're going to zoom in here. She got on the floor to take my pictures. That's, that's a real friendship, if you ask me. <laughs> trail we're back in the parking lot and I made it down the hill without falling once through up the trail down the trail the whole hike but guess how many times Jess dropped too many to count <laughs> I counted she dropped six times 